to see this movie. Huh? Sorry, Peter, we can't. There's no way we can go. Aw, oh, man, why not? Huh? Huh? <laughs> Reason. We can't leave Florian alone. <sighs> Why, there you are. <laughs> we were wondering where you two were. We were just waiting and waiting. Our grandma had to go into town, so we have to watch Florian ourselves. We have to stay here. We can't do anything fun. Hmm. Don't mind Mr. Grumpy Pants. He wanted to see a movie, so now he's gonna sulk about it. What if you got someone else to watch him? Who? Well, I'm great with kids, and this tiny human seems comfortable with me. You really think you can watch him for a couple of hours, Joe? Thanks! That's awesome! No! No, tiny human! <laughs> Florian! Uh. Oh. What now? Oh! Kids, are you hiding in my garden? I have your ball. Here you go. <gasps> Florian? Huh? Oh. Oh. What are you doing? You could get spotted. I lost sight of the tiny human. Now he's gone. What? Nobody panic yet. Joe, let's go alert the rest of the Turbozords. <laughs> Florian couldn't have gotten very far. Hmm? Huh. Huh. He's not back there either. He couldn't have gotten into the house, could he? We searched every room in the house, too. We can only hope he doesn't go too far. Hmm? He's crawled into the back of Aunt Nora's car. Huh? <gasps> Hang on! We gotta follow them! We should figure out where Aunt Nora's headed. You're right. I think we gotta split up. Chuck, you're great, but you don't have speed on your side. I think you should stay in the forest. You guys get to have all the fun without me. Maybe you should stay here, too. Someone needs to be here in case Grandma comes back before we do. <laughs> go, go, Turbozors! Why'd you stop, Thor? There's a roadblock here. We need to find another way. Huh? So happy. One car delivery complete with tiny human inside. Huh? Guess what, you guys? We found the car that has Florian inside. Oh. We should probably put that back in its parking spot and see if you can fix the flat tire, too.
Yes, that's right. I need a new tire. <gasps> or maybe a whole new car? <laughs> Hello? You must help. My car has been stolen. Oh, I guess it hasn't been stolen. And my flat tire's been repaired. What a strange day. Joe, Bull, Jerry, Unky, Thor, and Chuck, your Turbosaurus friends. Now they are on funny stickers in Viber. Join our channel and share your emotions with your friends. <laughs> Help! He's been taken! He's gone! Kidnapped! Now hold on, just start over. Why are you panicking? And who's taken? Thor! They took him to the city. Here's how it went down. This trail makes me kind of nervous. The highway's right there. What if someone sees us? Huh? What the? <laughs> <laughs> Greetings. My name's Thor, and this here is Unky. What brings you to these parts? He's not a real dino. Probably made of plaster and wood. Huh? Hmm? Ah! Uh. Uh-huh. It's over here, right? Uh, somewhere. Ah, uh, there. He didn't hear the humans in time, so he didn't manage to turn into a car. He just froze in place, and they thought he was the fake dinosaur they made. I still don't understand. How did that lead him to getting taken? When they mistook him for the fake dinosaur we saw earlier, they took him to the city instead. Apparently, they're building a dinosaur theme park downtown, and one of the statues fell out of the truck. They think mm -hmm. Thor is that statue. He's all alone, and he could be in danger. <gasps> well, guess we don't have a choice. We'll have to bail him out. Huh? <laughs> go, go, Turbozors! and check things out. And you guys can wait for us in the park. They've been gone a while. <laughs> You know, real dinosaurs didn't look anything like this model. Right? It's all wrong. Huh? Over there! <laughs> ah, you guys made it to the park opening? Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's so boring. None of these dinosaurs look real. They should be scary. Look at this one. Hmm. Or these. Huh? huh? Boring. <laughs> Just people in costumes. Let's bounce, Bruno. <laughs> <laughs> Ah, you're here. I don't know how much longer I can last. It's been two hours since I ate. Can you step off the rock? I can't. They put me in cement. <laughs> don't worry. Nothing's impossible. I've got a plan. So here's Thor, and here's us. Unky, can you pick up Chuck and truck for him and lift him up and over? That way he can dislodge Thor. Should be able to. Then it's settled. Tonight, Thor will get swapped out with the fake dinosaur from the forest. Which is where, exactly? We need it here. I remember where we found it. I'll take you there. Mm-hmm. Uh, uh, uh. Uh, Unky, did you forget where it is? I did not. I'm just having trouble remembering. Quiet! Mm -hmm. Someone's over there. Hmm. <sighs> I found something very suspicious. Come with me, children. I found proof dinosaurs live here. I present a specimen. Uh, that's not a real dinosaur. That's a statue, uh, Mr. Charlie. Huh? I guess. Oh, well, I only thought... Uh, <laughs> 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 Huh? Hmm.
Bull, make mm -hmm. sure the ground stays mm -hmm. level for Unky. Then Unky brings over Chuck. Then he'll get Thor's feet unstuck. We'll need to get it done quickly and quietly. So Unky brings the fake over the fence. Then we put the fake on the cement and everyone gets back over safe and sound. Mm -hmm. Go, go, Turbozars! Great idea for a park. Maybe I'll come back sometime. Well, have fun with that. I've had quite enough of this place for a lifetime. <laughs> Thanks for the jailbreak. Let's not do this again. <laughs> wow, a coin. My good luck charm. That doesn't belong to us. You should put it back where you found it. How is the owner going to find it in the middle of the forest? Why don't I make a scan of it for you? That way we can find the owner by their prints. <laughs> Scanning underway. And the analysis shows not a single fingerprint to be found. And the estimate age of the coin is 300 years old. Hooray! We found an ancient coin. Why don't we look for more? Suddenly, there are treasures abounding. Hidden treasures! <sighs> so much for finding any real treasure. I disagree. All these items are very old and therefore valuable. Once upon a time, there was an ancient village. And there may be a treasure? It could be. But we should consult a specialist about this. And I happen to be friends with some archaeologists. I can give them a call and see if they'll arrange an excavation. Is it impossible to dig without them? This must be handled very carefully to make sure that we don't damage the antiquities. I'm sure archaeologists have already been there. But we don't know what's still there. Let's go, Katie. Go where? Where do you think? To dig very carefully. <laughs> I think he's gonna score. Is he gonna score? Bravo! Hey guys! Huh? We need your help immediately. It's time for a big dig. But what about the ball? We'll find it later, Chuck. But we can't forget to hide the base. Up! I don't see anything. Joe, will you please go stand over there? Uh-huh. Some lights? Better, but still a little too dark. Unky? That does it. Here's the plan. <laughs> Thor, you take off the top layer. Then Bull will clear away the earth. And Jerry can take a detailed photo. And me? And you, Chuck, have the most important job of all. But I have no artistic talent. This is to thoroughly remove all the dust. We must all work very carefully so that we don't damage anything. Are you ready? Yeah! yeah. Go, go, Turbosaurs!
found it! What is it? Keep digging, Chuck! Huh? Hooray! The treasure! Now we all get to find out what's inside. Huh? A book? Is that all? Have we been wasting our time? Not at all, Jerry. Just take a look. Books contain valuable information about our past. We should bring this book back to Grandma and she can show it to her archaeologist friends. <laughs> so, Grandma, tell us what the book said. Don't worry, I'll tell you. But first, you have to finish your casserole. Mmm, mm, it's the best one you've ever made us. Why haven't you ever made this delicious food for us before? Because before, I didn't have the recipe to make it. And what is the recipe? Oh, this is a very old recipe. Our great, great, great grandmothers and grandfathers ate a casserole just like this. And where did you get it from? I got it from a very, very, very ancient book of recipes. So that's what it was, a cookbook. I told you, a real treasure indeed. <laughs> 59. Ready or not, here I come. I see Peter. Oh. And Boris. Huh? <laughs> and now I know where Bruno is. But that's not fair. If I hadn't sneezed, I could have stayed up there a year before you found me. Oh, come on. When I'm it, the tree is the first place I look. That's because there's nowhere else to hide in the yard. If we played in the woods, I could hide anywhere. You know Aunt Nora won't let us play in the woods. There's nothing wrong with right here. Peter, you're it. One, two, three, four, five. I don't understand. How far could he go? He could have gone into the woods. Remember, he said he could hide anywhere in there. Well, I'm not afraid. It's a piece of cake. Boris, are you sure that you want to go in there by yourself? He's my brother, and I'm going to find him. Somebody help me. Ah! <laughs> uh? go in there alone. We have to do something. And we will, with the Turbozor's help. You've never looked better. <laughs> Guys, huh? we really need your help. Our friends are lost in the woods. Now don't you panic. Jerry flies to the rescue! Well, I didn't know the woods would be such a big place. I'm tired and so hungry. You're not the only one. Oh. So thirsty, too. And I don't know if anyone's ever gonna find us. I found them. But it's not going to be easy to get to them because on one side is the marsh, and on the other, the gorge. We'll find a way over the gorge. Wow, that is a big gorge. What do we do? You always say that nothing's impossible, so there must be a way over. You see that fallen tree? We're going to turn it into a bridge and get to the other side. Go, go, Turbozors! <laughs> Thor, you prepare the ground so we can build a bridge. Unky, you go get the tree and hand it over to Chuck. And Chuck, get that tree to the other side of the gorge. Uh, 
I've been working out a lot lately. And how are we going to get across now? I have an idea. What if we build a full-fledged bridge, just like this? Even better, we'll build the bridge on stilts. A bridge, a bridge on, on stilts? stilts. What's, What's better, better than, than that? that? Jerry and Chuck, go look for more tree trunks. Bull, bring those trunks over here. Thor, go get some more ground ready so we can build our bridge. And how will we know that it's safe to go across? You just let Chuck take care of that. <laughs> Now we need planks for the bridge itself. Unky, pass the logs to Chuck. He'll cut them into boards and we'll make ourselves a bridge. Don't wake them up. I have an idea. But we're gonna need a sturdy car. <sighs> What's keeping the boys? It's so late. Where have they gone off to? Have you seen the boys? Nothing to worry about. They were hiding, and we searched and searched, and eventually, we found them. Bruno. Boris, you can't sleep on the ground. You'll catch a cold. Where's the swamp? And where's the terrible forest? <sighs> Just a dream. Let's go. The cake is ready. And bring your friends, because friends are very important. <laughs> are you still coming? I understand. I'll keep waiting. They still can't send me a taxi. The big storm took down a lot of trees, so the roads are all blocked. But I need to be in town and just... <gasps> Florian? <laughs> Florian! <laughs> Florian. <laughs> Katie, Grandma can't be late. We need the Turbozor's help. That storm was just unbelievable. Wind, thunder, lightning, then boom! One tree fell after another. Yeah, now the roads are blocked. Grandma can't get into town. I'll check out the roads. You two go and tell the team. <sighs> Nine trees are blocking the road. One of them's gigantic, and there's a really deep puddle. The river flooded and broke the bridge, so we'll have to fix it. That's a lot of work. We'll need Thor and Chuck. They're still asleep. The sound of rain always makes them tired. We'll have to wake them. Mm. Thor! Chuck! <laughs> if that thunder didn't wake them up, then you won't. Then what do we do? We need their help to clear the road. I've got it covered. Go, go, Turbozors! <laughs> now that everybody is here, let's go save the day. Go, go, Turbozors! like our friends are still asleep. Huh. Sleepwalking is a dangerous sport. You might want to give it up. No, I wasn't sleepwalking. I was deep in thought. Don't sweat it, Chuck. We're just glad you're here to help. Yum. Oh. Thor. Thor. Enough. There's no time for that. How much time do we have left? Not very much. Her appointment starts soon. Bull, can we go faster? Of course. Turbozors, we've got a job to do. Thor, we need you to saw the trunk. Chuck, 
Can you clear the way? Unky, Joe, we'll go and fix the bridge. We should go get Grandma. Joe, think you could give us a lift? I'll be the fastest and most stylish taxi that she's ever seen. <laughs> It'll take more than that to stop me. You can relax. We'll have the roads clear soon. <laughs> Grandma, do you want to take this driverless taxi? That would be great. But can I drive it myself? This one's special, so yeah. Chuck, replace the damaged support for the bridge. Them? Chuck, hide! <laughs> really great work, guys. The bridge looks good as new. Thanks. It'll stand a hundred years. 